All of this stuff about black people being executed on the streets of America by racist police officers is not true. The black prison population in America is around 38%. Now, the reason for that isn't racism. The reason for that is crime rates. They look at uh, disparate outcomes, racially disparate outcomes, and wherever they see them, they assume something nefarious is going on. Uh, you know, I, I read an, an article in the LA Times recently talking about police. You know, 900 killings in LA by police since 2000, um, and then they tell you 80% were black. They tell you the percentage of the black population in LA, and they go, draw your own conclusions. Mm -hmm. When we know, you know, it's not that, that simple. We, just telling us what the percentage of the population is, and then the percentage of, of blacks involved in, with, with police, what we want to know, what, the, what are the crime rates based on neighborhoods and zip codes and, and race and ethnicity and so forth? You must factor that in. Here we have a circle representing the general population. Within that circle, we can have a cluster of other circles. These can represent different groups. Then, within the middle of all of that, we can have a slightly smaller circle. This circle represents the people who are actually involved in crime. In New York City, despite black people only making up 23% of the population, they're responsible for 75% of shootings, 70% of robberies, and 66% of all violent crime. Add Hispanic data, and that accounts for 98% of all illegal gunfire in the city. By contrast, white people make up 33% of the population, yet they're only responsible for 2% of shootings and 4% of robberies. See, that's where population data gets you.